Annual inflation ticked up in February, the Bureau of Economic Analysis reported Friday morning, though inflation remains well on its moderating path. Annual core PCE inflation, which measures the year-over-year -year change in Americans' personal consumption expenditures, is the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation measure. Policymakers favored the Personal Consumption Expenditures Index over the more commonly cited Consumer Price Index CPI, as the differences in the competing inflation metrics arguably means PCE paints a fuller picture of price sensitivities Americans face. Inflation has dominated many economic and market-based conversations over the last three years as a variety of factors, such as COVID-related supply chain snarls, the influx of stimulus checks into the economy and a sharp increase in energy prices tied to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, pushed U.S. inflation to its highest level in four decades. How far inflation will fall this year? Fed policymakers' median year-end forecast for core PCE inflation rose slightly last week to 2.6%, according to its latest quarterly projections. That's about 0.2 percentage points below its February level, but well above the Fed's long-stated 2% target. But even if inflation proves to be stubborn, there's still hope for the interest rate cuts many eagerly await. Goldman Sachs economists led by Jan Hatzius forecast core PCE inflation to fall to 2.4% by June and to remain at that level throughout the year. Readings which, should be enough, for the first rate cut this cycle to come in June 0.19.6%. That's how much more Americans spent in February 2024 than they did in February 2021, on a seasonally adjusted basis. That equates to 6.5% annualized inflation, indicative of the lingering pain felt by consumers despite the moderation in headline numbers.